upper body workout with three main goals. One, master scapular movement. Two, fix some balances between sides. And three, bulletproof the shoulders. The scapula or the shoulder blades set the foundation for all upper body exercises. Now for all of these drills, the arms must be completely straight with the elbows fully extended. So no bending of the elbow, completely straight and locked out. We're gonna be focusing on these actions. One, with the arms at the side, scapular elevation and depression. With the arms at shoulder level, scapular protraction and retraction. And with the arms overhead, upward rotation and downward rotation. Now we start with a handful of band drills to flood the area with blood and activate the key scapular muscles. Then we go to some body weight and dumbbell drills to strengthen imbalances between sides. In terms of breathing for pull aparts, you're going to exhale through the mouth as you pull the band apart and then inhale through the nose coming back. For all other drills, you're going to emphasize inhaling through the nose while going down or during the stretch or eccentric phase of the exercise and exhaling through the mouth while going up or during the contraction or concentric phase of the exercise. The band pull apart improves posture, strengthens all of your upper back muscles, including the rhomboids, the traps, and the lats. And it also trains scapular retraction or pulling the shoulder blades back. You can do it with an underhand grip, which winds the shoulder into an external rotation, which targets your lower traps more, which pull the shoulder blades down and mobilizes the shoulder girdle. You can also do it with an overhand grip. And I like to go like this, pull it right across that nipple line, back. And this gets a little more rear delt. The band scap press trains scapular protraction or pushing the shoulder blades away from each other, activating your serratus anterior muscles alongside the ribs, which is key for shoulder health and performance. Now you can do this drill with an overhand grip the whole way, but I also like to mix in this particular variation where I'm actually mimicking the way I would punch. So you start palms facing and as you push out, you rotate overhand. And you know, it's no surprise, the serratus anterior is called the puncher's muscle. So it's a great way to kind of apply our boxing mechanics. Now you can also take this drill and I actually like to do it with a scap bar. So I'll put one end of the band around one end of a stick or pipe, or as I call this a double-sided dildo. And it allows me to kind of get a little more freedom of motion. And it's not as stressful on the hands in terms of using a lighter band. The band overhead press trains upward scapular rotation, targeting the upper traps and the levator scapula. The key focus here is make sure we're not hyperextending the back to get the range of motion. Crunch the abs, squeeze the glutes, and shrug those shoulders as high as you can towards the ears. Now I can also do this by taking a scap bar or a stick or a PVC pipe, putting it just like this. A neutral grip tends to be a little more joint friendly and just doing the exact same movement just like that. In terms of loading for the one arm scap row, press, and suitcase shrug, start with a 25 to 50 pound bell. The one arm scap row is a great exercise to strengthen your scapular retraction muscles. It also sets the foundation for rows. I like to do it off the edge of a bench or step so I can get that full extension at the bottom, that full reach, and I want to be very active with this down arm for stability. The one arm scap press trains scapular protraction and sets the foundation for chest presses. Focus on pushing the knuckles skyward and then driving that shoulder underground. The one arm overhead scap press trains scapular upward rotation and elevation. It also sets the foundation for all overhead work. You've got to start with a light five to 10 pound bell, and you've got to make sure you do it from a split stance and keep your abs crunched so we're not hyperextending the back to get false range of motion. So root yourself down, try to get that shoulder up to the ear, and then pack all the way down. The one arm suitcase shrug trains your upper traps, but also your obliques as it stabilizes and trying to fight the tilting and churning forces of being loaded on one side. 
Now the big focus here, you gotta keep the weight away from your body and focus on getting all the way up. Try to shrug and then squeeze and contract upper traps at the top and then try to get a really deep stretch at the bottom of the exercise. The one arm bridge shrug targets the rear delts, the lats, and the lower traps by working scapular depression. It's kind of like training the dip shrug, but one arm at a time, because a one arm dip shrug would be damn near impossible. Now I want you to start doing this from a seated position and really focus on getting that shoulder all the way to the ear at the bottom and then packing it all the way down at the top. You can make it harder by lifting the hips or holding a dumbbell at shoulder level or overhead. The one arm pull up shrug is my go-to shoulder stretch and it's the key to getting the mobility you need for flawless pull up form. So really focus on shrugging the shoulder up towards the ear, crunching the abs, and then try to pack it all the way down, feeling a big activation of the rear delta lat and also the low traps, just pull the shoulder blades down. Now, my favorite way to do this, this is the easiest option, parallel stance. I like doing it from a split stance, which actually increases the loading on this arm and the stretch in the hip. I wish. Have a great workout, you're done in 20 minutes, and make a post-workout report in the comment section below. Go. Halfway. Rest. Go. Halfway. Rest. Go. Halfway.
rest. Go. Halfway. Rest. Go. Halfway. Rest. Go. Halfway. Rest. Go. Halfway.
rest. Go. Halfway. Rest. Go. Halfway. Halfway. Halfway.
rest. Go. Halfway. Rest. Go. Halfway. Rest. Go. Halfway. Rest. Go. Halfway.
rest. Go. Halfway. Rest. 